all right guys welcome back to the end of video in last video i have showed you how to like train the deep learning model to detect the water bodies but in last video we had a problem with our model which has uh, already overtrained and then uh, it has like limitation of like not performing well in the test data set so in order to like improve those things i have made few changes in this model file which is water bodies detection version 2 file and uh, here uh, i have like made few things so the first thing is like i increased the number of training data set of course previously we had like 472 images tiles but this time i had around 1700 images uh, i like generated the uh, four different uh, different images uh, based on the one original image and then also i shuffle my data set so this uh, process might also help to like get the more accuracy and also the definitely in order to avoid the overfitting issue i have implemented the callback function early stopping and check pointer so uh, i'll explain in the video section how, what this uh, early stopping and check pointer callback function mean and also i have also tried to implement the weighted loss function or the custom lot loss function but i think i haven't uh, i'm not going to show you how to do that in this particular video maybe uh, you can try to find uh, the sources in the internet and then try to uh, write your custom loss function because uh, this uh, the number four uh, thing is uh, really varies based on your like uh, task whatever you are trying to achieve so based on that you need to like write your custom uh, loss function or the weighted loss function so let's get start so the first thing is like i am going to run all the cells uh, as i used in the previous one uh, so here uh, the in the data pre-processing part so previously it has like train xx and train yy value but i rename it to the train xx initial and train yy initial because i am going to augment this image with 442 uh, tiles with the like uh, augment it and then get it uh, around 2000 images so let me run this cell and for the data augmentation i'm using the image augmentation library which is very like helpful and very easy to augment your uh, data and generate the new data based on like uh, horizontal flip or the vertical flip or the like rotation uh, rotate it with your custom uh, like uh, angle and also with the custom scale so and custom translation so x and y translation so based on these parameters so you can like uh, do the augmentation both on image and max pair that's why um, i have this function so this is the like uh, sequence so based on this sequence i'm like trying to generate the three random images three random augmented images uh, from that particular image over here so based on uh, this for loop so train xx initial dot shape that means 442 uh, image 0 to 442 i'm getting the image in max and then i am mapping both in the uh, same segmentation map on image class and after that uh, i am simply looping it with the number number of augmentation uh, thing which is three of course i need three images and then i generate the augmentation image and augmentation max with the my previously defined sequence and then append it into the augmented image and max class and then finally i change it to the numpy array so that i can work it easily with in the uh, matrix format so it might take few seconds to run and after that uh, in this step so i concat both my uh, like original initial imagery and the augmented imagery and initial uh, label with the augmented label that means max okay so after that i simply append both 
and then in order to like avoid the uh, memory memory issue ram issue in the google collab i am simply deleting these two variables so after that if i check my train xx max value and minimum value it's still the same that means my data is still normalized and then uh, i have the data type of fluid 32 bit and if i check the shape of this train xx and train yy which is 1762 this time uh, previously it was 442 uh, but now it's augmented and we have shape of 1768 but definitely if you are like interested to generate the more number of samples then you can change this number and then you can generate the uh, more samples okay so after that uh, so based on that the previous discussion over here so i already augmented my images now it's time to shuffle the data so in order to like shuffle the data i'm using the numpy array and then uh, i first of all generate the shuffle indices with the numpy random permutation function and after that i simply shuffle it with the train xx and train yy variable and after that if i hit run so i can see the uh, image and corresponding their max value so yeah so yeah this is the like river channel and then i can see the same river channel over here but uh, as i said this max is not ex accurate perfectly accurate because this max is generated from the shape file of water bodies i don't know the which year or which uh, which month uh, this uh, shape file i mean who get this shape files but the thing is like uh, I'm just going to show you how to train and improve your accuracy in the deep learning model uh, in case of satellite imagery but if you want the higher accuracy I definitely recommend you to like max this uh, water bodies uh, either in Google Earth Pro software or the QGIS or even ArcGIS all right so after that I have this kind of unit structure and which is quite simple with the input shape of 256 by 256 by 4 and uh, as i said previously i'm not going to update my loss function which is uh, over here so you of course if you are interested then do some research or search with chat gpt to get the like good loss function and after that so here uh, in the model uh, part so i have also like added the two check pointers uh, callback functions the check pointer first callback function it will what it will do is it will try to store the best weights uh, based on uh, the model and then uh, it will simply like try to determine the based on which value uh, it it uh, try to like save the best weight so here i defined the monitor loss. so if the loss is lowest minimum then uh, it says it's the best weight so maybe i can remove this part so uh, it's just the best weight and then uh, okay so after that so in the early stopping function uh, it's like only like monitoring the loss and then it will only uh, stay patient uh, till fifth epoch and if after the fifth epoch also the value is start increasing then uh, it will stop uh, like training the model and then it will uh, simply like uh, stop the model and then a uh, number of epochs you don't need to go to the full epoch which is 100 and then uh, that's why i'm implementing early stopping in order to like fit uh, in order to avoid the overfitting issue and uh, so in the training set i have like train data set and the validation i have test data set but uh, as i said previously this is not the recommended method you need to like uh, replace this data set with the validation set and then the test data set should be like uh, the data set which model never seen before and the batch size i'm 
still putting eight and then uh, here I have added the one more like callback function with the callback uh, parameter callback like these two functions okay so this time our model might take longer time to train uh, it because previously we had like 442 images but this time we had 100 uh, 1700 uh, images so that's why uh, the process is relatively slower but yeah it will take some time and then train the model and then after that i'll show you the result how it looks like all right so now my model training part is successfully complete uh, as you can see uh, so if applying this callback function it says that pal loss improved from uh, something to something so if it's decreasing it will write this sentence if not it says that it did not improve from uh, the latest one so in the last few reports you can see uh, in the last five reports uh, the pal loss did not improve from 0 0.72 uh, 17809 that's why uh, it uh, stopped like uh, training the model uh, after 15 reports that means uh, within the like 15 epochs uh, within I think 10 epochs we got the like lowest value of file loss and uh, that's the most appropriate value of this particular uh, task and based on that if I try to see the plot so I can see it over here so it looks relatively kind of okay but uh, definitely it's not the great like model so because it looks like uh, it somehow like the cost and trade and uh, it doesn't have like uh, much like decreasing pattern but anyway so I'm, I was just trying to show you how to like uh, train your model and how to improve the accuracy but yeah that's the way so after that so based for the prediction so you have to like uh, import the uh, load model function from tensorflow keras dot model and then load the best model dot uh, s5 or uh, sorry i forgot the name best weight it should be best weight okay uh, best weight dot s5 so it should be stored somewhere here so in the drive so you can see best weight dot s5 so that's the model we are getting here and then after that if you try to like predict it with the 0.5 percent threshold it should like predict the uh, model all right so this is our prediction and this is our original like label so which looks like kind of okay and if i try this with the test data set test xx and then maybe test xx test yy uh, since it's the y value and i can also like see the result but definitely this is not the great model so it's here so in the test set it's still not performing well so we can clearly see that over here so yeah but somehow it has relatively like good shape uh, to in order to like in comparison to the previous model so the river was over here and then it's kind of like predicting relatively like a good way and also the river was here and then it's uh, kind of like predicting in the small shape so yeah that's why uh, the data augmentation and then the uh, early stopping is necessary in the model development so i hope uh, you are also like able to improve your model with these techniques and if this video is helpful then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next